Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure and you're back with Super Mega Baseball Part 2 and the second season at Bulldozer Power and uh, we've got some games to, uh, to, to generate before we move on to our next encounter so let's push the button uh, The Nomads are taking on Colonel School and in the ninth inning uh, the Nomads take it The Ocelots are playing the Golden Eagles and uh, it's looking like a slam dunk for the Golden Eagles, 7-4. to four. Uh, The Raptors are taking on the Pufferfish, who are the Jesters. That's right, uh, the Raptors won that. Uh, the Seven and Niners are playing the Kings. Uh, the Kings running away with that one, 10 to 10-1. Uh, the Pleasurewood Hill staff are beaten by Cheerio Incorporated. Uh, the Sloths are taking on the Nomads and have lost. And that's about all there is to see there. So, as we look at the scores, Cheerio Inc. are leading the tactical division, which, of course, is where we reside. Uh, they have five wins. They are the only undefeated team in the league, uh, with a 34-run difference. I mean, a lot of those runs came against me, of course, so it hardly counts, does it? No, it doesn't count at all. Uh, we, meanwhile, are back in, back in last place, uh, with minus 16-run difference. Yeah, I need to start winning, don't I? No, that's, I mean, that's, that's all there is to it. I've got to win something. Um, so, yeah, there you go. Uh, the Nomads are leading the way in the Bombastic. The Tree Guns being led by the Jesters. And the Smoothing Division has a tie between Failure Grad and Duck Force. Good. I don't even know who I'm playing next. Who are we playing next? Uh, Bunsen Hospital. It will be our game of the week this week. And I hope to see you stick around for that. Well, it's a beautiful day here at this stadium. Uh, failure will be starting us off. Feetum is our uh, is our pitcher for today. Uh, Feetum is our number one pitcher, obviously enough. And uh, it's it's I'm not sure it's, sure it's going to be easy. Uh, anyway, it's uh, Esther Rago who is going to be pitching at us. That's a that's a name that, that didn't come from me. So. Uh, who knows? Anyway, here's failure. He's on fire and he's got, he's fully fit. Two home runs this season so far. Uh, we'll soak up this first one. That's quite a nice pitch, as it turns out. But uh, there you go. Anyway, failure gets a piece of that. That one's gone a very long way. And it's out of here. Well, that's a good way to start the match, isn't it? Uh, failure there doing the uh, the trot of honour around the outside of the perimeter of the, of the thing with the Watson. And he's good as traditional low five kind of chest bump kind of behaviour and here's Bingo of the hazmat and uh, he's got big hair as Bingo anyway here we go yeah I'm not swinging at that who do you think I am I'm not, I wasn't born yesterday watch me ankles I'm gonna need them uh, strike one ball two oh that was a, I mean it's a nice drive but that's gone straight up to uh, centre field where he's caught because uh, that happens sometimes. Here's Bam Bam. Uh, she's had a pretty good season so far. Eight runs batted in. Uh, let's see what she can make of this pitcher. And that's ball one. Oh, I would have swung at that, you know. I wouldn't have swung at that. That's ball two. Oh, that one was, was straight towards the Chestal area. That's no good. And uh, Bam Bam gets a walk there. Well, that's a, that's a nice way to, uh, to kick things off for Bam Bam. Uh, Shamrock, who's also on fire. Uh, batting 700 this year. Uh, so it's pretty impressive stuff. Uh, but uh, he's, not, uh, he's not done anything with that yet. That's uh, ball two. This pitcher seems to be having a bit of problem uh, finding the strike zone. That's uh, ball three. Gracious. No, we'll, we'll soak up a strike or two. Just on the off chance that... No, there we go. Shamrock gets a walk as well. Well, that's, uh, that's runners now on first and second. And here comes Zoltan, who just had a terrible season but managed to find some uh, uh, find some mojo last week. Uh, that one's gone too high. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what's going on with this pitcher. That one's gone too low. That's ball two. Uh, we'll just stand here, I think. Uh, ball three. And... Uh, yeah, no, no, you, you, you can throw one that, that is uh, terrible. We'll even allow two. Just come on, Zoltan, what's it going to be? Shouldn't have swung, you Burke! Oh, you Wally! No, well, never mind. That was, enough. That was bases loaded from walks there. If I'd have left that one, that was way too high. Uh, here's Cindy. Uh, a pretty reliable uh, batsman is, uh, is Cindy. Batswoman, I would say. And she's flipping huge. Oh, that one's gone too high. 
No, it's not. Everybody go back again. She's not going to make it unless this clown drops it. No, there you go. That's out number three. An opportunity wasted there. Uh, well, several. Several opportunities wasted. Anyway, here's Spock Bumson. Really? He plays for... Yeah, well, of course he does. Bumson is, uh, is your man for, uh, for the hospital. It doesn't look particularly... Uh, Particularly keen on the idea, but uh, he's going to face down Feetum. Ball one, that looks all right to me. Don't know what you're on about. That's a nice one. There you go. That's gone to Bam Bam, who throws to first. And Bumson's out for nothing. Sit down. Uh, here comes uh, Marjorie Sinister, uh, the uh, the ward sister. She's uh, she's going to see what she can do against the professor. And uh, there's the first ball. Yeah, lovely strike. Absolutely. Great. Now, I just want 200 more like it, and uh, and we'll win this one. That one's gone foul, and uh, here comes the fast one. That's not gone far. Feetum's on it. Throws to first, and that's out number two. Good work. Very efficient play from Bulldozer Power. Uh, as Exponential Tyrone comes up to bat, uh, he's got himself... And I tell you what, these uniforms are quite snazzy. Uh, the... Uh, the hospital uniforms, uh, very neat. Oh, he's, uh, Tyrone's got a piece of that. He's going to make it on base as we throw the second. And uh, nah, it's, it's just life, isn't it? Uh, is Roman Rocket uh, will be next up. He's got two home runs this system, but season, but he's only batting two, 250, which is, I mean, it, that's not star player material. Oh, suck on that, son. Uh, yeah, yeah, you didn't see that coming. Well, obviously, because you missed. There comes the fork ball. That's not a very good pitch, that one. Anyway, there we go. That's the side retired. Job done. Business is good. As, uh, as Steve Morrie comes up, his, uh, his fitness isn't great. But apparently, according to a tool tip I read earlier, catchers inevitably lose fitness a little bit more rapidly than their teammates. Yeah, if you say so. Oh, flipping egg, Steve. Come on. Uh, right, that's two strikes already for Steve. That one was a bit low, although I was tempted. That one was low as well. I was tempted, swung at it. He's going to get out. And there we go. Steve Murray has a sit down. Uh, as Tintin Hollywood comes up. Desperately needs something out of Tintin. He's only got 167 this season so far, which is pitiful. Uh, for someone who is supposed to be a batter, that is absolutely ruddy terrible. Strike one, ball one. That's ball two. That was a bit on the low side. That was a bit on the inside. Uh, ball three. Boof! There we go. Tintin finally manages to get on base following what can only be described as boof. And here comes the professor. Now, we don't we don't sub out a professor uh, from, from batting because he's actually pretty capable. Uh, no real requirement on him to do well. But uh, if he can make a play here, so much the better. Strike one and ball one. Oh, swung a bit early. That would have been quite nice. Strike two. Yeah, he struck out at the plate there. Unfortunate, because, uh, uh, I mean, that one could have gone either way. His failure again for his second at bat. Remember, he got a, got a well, he got a run first time out. So, uh, so that's, really? Seriously? Yeah, strike one and ball one, as is the traditional opening now. Failure's got that. That's good enough. He's going to get on base as uh, whoever that was, Tintin. Tintin advances to second, uh, which is all jolly good stuff. Uh, here comes Bingo. Not such a good first at bat for him, uh, but uh, maybe we'll get something from this. There is, uh, there is ball one again. Strike one. In fact, we've seen this pitch combo a couple of times now. Oh, flipping it. B Bingo's having a stinker, uh, and he's out. Uh, that's the side retired. Another opportunity, perhaps, left now there somewhere is Jack Rasputin uh, plays second base only batting 125 so far this year uh, Feetum switches it up and goes the other way no no accomplishes nothing uh, a dive there from first base but it would, didn't didn't uh, really accomplish anything at all is Janice Castor uh, 133 this year so far is it just me or do does the hospital team absolutely stink that one's popped up. Uh, we've got all kinds of people calling for it. Shamrock's got it, and that's out number one. 
Good times, good show. Here's Barbara the Butcher. Uh, she is probably the high point on the team at the moment. Uh, plays either centre or, uh, beg your pardon, catcher or left field, depending on which move strikes her. That one's gone a good distance, uh, but it's looking very much like Bingo's going to get underneath it. And has done, and that's her uh, out as well. Excellent. Oh, you're telling me there's someone on base? Oh, OK. Yeah, it's now worth paying attention to these things, eight, I suppose. The uh, is Franchise Oblique, uh, who uh, is, uh, well, he's got all the pressure on him now uh, with two outs. Uh, Feetum's looking quite sharp so far today, but the, to be honest, it's the uh, uh, the fielding is is really coming up with the the, uh, the good stuff. You know, I was hoping for something a little bit more you know erudite than that, but the good stuff is what it is. Uh, that's uh, that's strike two uh, with the foul there, takes it to uh, strike two and a bit. He's uh, wanged that one into the crowd as well. Stop wanging him into the crowd. Look, hit it or get out, would you? No, there's another foul. He's using up all of Feetum's best pitches. But I suppose that's that strategy. Oh, he's out anyway, so that's good. They were trying a bit of a steal there, uh, but we struck him out. So, uh, in your face. No score there for uh, for the hospital team as Bam Bam comes up for her second at-bat for today. She got walked first time round. What's it going to be now? Gently does it. That's another ball. So's that one. Yeah. And that one. Good. Is Bam Bam going to need to swing? Yeah, that one's clearly going to be a strike. Nope, there she goes. Bam Bam, two at bats, two walks. Well, they're clearly terrified of it. I would be. She's very good. Uh, here's Shamrock. Shamrock got to walk as well on his first at bat. I don't think it's going to be the case this time round. Would be nice to knock in. Uh... Yes. No. Caught. Oh, poo. Uh, well, never mind. Uh, Could have been good, but wasn't. Uh, so here comes Zoltan. Uh, he, he struck out first time round with a full count. And uh, he struck out going at what was clearly a ball. Uh, so let's hope he's got his eye in for this one. No, he's, no, he's popped that up. He's going to get out. You absolute flipping waste of a position in the batting order. Here comes Cindy. She didn't do much in the first time out, but she's batting 500 with three home runs this year. So uh, to say that there's... Oh, for crying out loud. Never mind. No, no, forget I spoke. No, that's, uh, that's a total waste, that is. Oh, well, never mind. Uh, here's a pitcher. Part of me thinks they'll sub her, but no, they're leaving her in. All right, fair enough. They've, they've got belief in this pitcher, who hasn't been great so far. Uh, that one's gone foul. Yeah, foul ball. That's, that's what it's gone. That's where it went. Try that. Oh, strike two. Beautiful work there from Feetum. Uh, bangs it in there, effectively. Not a great pitch for the third one, but that's a strikeout. And uh, job to Gooden as Spot Bumson comes up for his second at bat. Uh, he's, uh, he's playing pretty well. He's got a quite a nice tattoo going on there on his arm. I mean, admittedly, they're possibly a little au fait by now. But uh, here it comes. That one's in the air. Steve's calling for it, but uh, that's bounced off the fence. So, uh, so nothing doing on that. Uh, but uh, that's strike one. That's a terrible pitch. And that one's got down the line as well. No, no, no good that is. There, what should we do? Let's try and catch him out with a fork ball to finish him off. There you go. It's not a good pitch. Yeah, he left that one. I would have done as well because that was well inside. So is that. He's left that as well. Oh, flipping neck. He's got his eye in. Uh, all right. St stick that one out there. Yay! Get whiffed. Out you go. Go on, sit down. Bumson, you suck. Uh, here's Marjorie again. Nothing doing from her first at bat. That's uh, what we like to see. Uh, we'll start her on the forky. Okay, well, that's gone to centre field, but we've got men there. Zoltan's going for it. And he's got it. Side retired. Another scoreless innings. And, uh, well, it's uh, pretty thrilling stuff so far. So uh, oh, that was indeed a three up, three down. Yes. Hmm. Right, well, top of the fourth inning. And it's Steve Murray who will be hoping for something from this one. He didn't get anything last time round. Yeah, he probably could have swung at that, but didn't. Oh, that one went straight at him. Referee. All right, strike two. Ball one. He shouldn't have, but did. There you go. He's going to get himself out as he hobbles his way up to first base. And, uh, and nothing doing. 
Tintin broke through 200 average from his last at bat. Can he? Uh, can he replicate that? We've got you know proper hopes for Tintin Hollywood. Nice bit of fielding isn't going to be enough. Tintin gets on base again. Two for two for Tintin Hollywood. That's, uh, that's pretty good. The only other batter I've got that's done two for two is uh, is Bam Bam, and that's because she walked. Boom! That's good stuff. Now we've got runners on first and second, and uh, the bulldozer offense is looking mighty as failure comes up to bat. And uh, also, I beg your pardon, he's also two for two. Uh, but three is the magic number. That one was a bit on the low side there. Oh, late. It was a beautiful pitch as well. He could have had that. That's strike two. Come on, failure. Come on. Come on. No good. No good. That could be a double play. It's a double play. Well, having started brightly, failure there destroys the team by coughing up a double play after, oh dear, he just had a shaken confidence no or something no along those lines That's as exponential crazy. Tyrone comes up uh, to face down Feetham, who is, uh, who is performing very nicely today. He's had a good, uh, a good time on the mound. Ooh, what do you think of that, Tyrone? Huh? 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 That was good. Yep, there we go. Here's another pitch. Strike two. <laughs> Personally, I don't think that one was legal. We've obviously got a hometown ump. Strike three. Oh, he fell for it. And Feetham is on fire. Uh, he's having a tremendous day. He's, uh, he's got a good lot of pitches in his bag. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, here's the, here's the, just a, it's a throw the ball. That one was a bit high. Calm down. Yes, you're doing... Oh, flipping heck. Yeah, you see? You're, now, you're all over the shop now. You think you can just throw anything and... Oh, you see, look. He's, he's really hit the hell out of that one. Here we... No! Oh, he ran too far! Oh, he gave up a double play and then got flipping just... Oh, dearie me. Oh, gracious. Uh, overconfidence there from the defending uh, unit uh, led to a double, uh, double base hit. And uh, let's hope that that doesn't shift the balance of mood between these two teams. That one's gone foul. That's strike two. Uh, this is Jack Rasputin, for those of you who uh, like names. There's one. Uh, that's a ball there. Right. Okay, come on. Look, focus in. You know, stick to the fundamentals. Get out. And that's another strikeout for Feetham. He's really having a good game today. Here is Janice Castor, uh, who is, uh, if the stats are to be believed, a horrible, a horrible batter. Yes, you fell for that one, didn't you? Didn't you fall for that? Yeah, you did. See if you fall for this as well. Yeah, you did. Oh, you sucker. All right, let's uh, see how you get on with this one. That's not bad. Uh, it would have been a nice, uh, nice three-pitch get off my plate. Anyway, there you go. There's a four-pitch get off my plate, and the side is retired again. Four innings down. There's only one run in it. Uh, but that run is ours, and we'll be hoping that Hazmat here can actually do something worthwhile uh, that would ensure that his, his no, he's going to get caught, um, that his, his second position in the lineup was worth it. But no, he's, he's gone again. His Bam Bam hasn't had to do anything so far today. I've oh, a bit of fielding, obviously. Oh, you think you're so flash throwing a strike. Can you do it again? Nah, I didn't think so. Yeah, yeah, ball two. There, uh, strike one. Bam Bam has a go, and probably shouldn't have, and is out. Oh, well. Uh, it had to happen sooner or later, I suppose. Uh, meanwhile, it's Shamrock, and uh, he's in a very good mood. Uh, he had a positive game last week, despite the fact that we lost it. Oh, what was that? Come on, man, concentrate. Don't let your sideburns get in the way of hitting the ball with your bat and then running a bit. Well, that was stupid. That was very clearly going too high, and he's gone for it anyway, and that's the side retired. And uh, it has to be said that this may have started brightly here at Bulldozer Power, but uh, it's it's faded off dramatically. His Barbara the Butcher, who looks like she... I mean, she really means business with that stance. Uh, I know exactly what business she means. Oh, there you go. Works in the gastroenterology department. That's a nice pitch. And it's gone to Tintin, who will deal with the business there. And that's that, that dealt with there. That's all dealt with. 
done, done that one. That's that's one done. His franchise are bleak, uh, who uh, can barely see anything through those shades of his. Uh, but it doesn't really matter, because uh, when he gets a piece of it, uh, it knows that it's had a piece of it gotten. Yes. Not a good pitch. Oh, but it went foul, so uh, escaped there by the skin of things. Uh, let's uh, sling one then like that. That one's gone foul. Okay, right. Let's, uh, let's slide one in from well outside. That one's gone foul as well. Let's put one where we actually want it to go, shall we? Like that. That wasn't a good pitch either. And to be honest, we're being punished on all these pitches that stink uh, by being hit foul. But there we go. There goes. That's the strikeout that we were looking for. Uh, a bleak there will uh, will not be in the mood. Uh, is Esther being subbed? Yeah, there we go. Uh, so we've got Cal Crush, who's coming on in her place as a pinch hitter. Well, let's, uh, let's see what sort of pinch we can get. Yeah, strike one, mate. You might look tough, uh, but uh, you missed that one, didn't you? No, hey, see, hey, it's your trading card going down in value. I mean, frankly, that you're not in the, in the starting lineup means your trading card's pretty worthless anyway. And one good pitch here. Oh, right, it's not a good pitch, but it'll do. And that'll be enough to... Uh, no, it won't. It wasn't. He got far enough to get on base. I don't know what you're talking about. It's Bonson again. He's looking nervous. Uh, possibly due to impending lawsuits. Uh, but uh, it's really quite hard to tell. There's the first pitch. He had a go at it. Whoop. Owls at. Good. Right. Side retired again. Uh, so we've got Jess Renette, who's coming into pitch. Uh, she seems to be uh, on fine form and at the top of the sixth. Bulldozer power lead. A run to nothing as Zoltan steps up for his third at bat. There we go. How to introduce uh, a new pitcher to the game is get a nice base hit there off the first pitch. Here comes Cindy. Also not doing brilliantly today, uh, but anything could happen, possibly. Thought uh, you don't get much straighter and swingable than that. That one's too low. 96 miles per hour, though. Got some zing on these pitches. That one's gone foul. That's strike two, ball one. Should not have swung at that, but it went for the dugout. Uh, boom! No, that's... Well, soaking up the pitches, this is almost worth the uh, the price of admission alone. Uh, it would be nice if... Uh, gently. Now, come on. That was straight at me bat. Oh, that's a nice hit. Oh, it's gone foul as well. Cindy's really giving this pitcher a workout. Well, that's not good, though, is it? <clears throat> Could be a double play. Yep, well done. Good job, Cindy. Good job. Well done. You've really made a made a name for yourself there. Here comes Steve Murray. Uh, big teeth, big smile. Steve Murray. Here he comes. Wallop! And that's enough to get him on base as well. Good. Well, I mean, you know, getting hits is nice. We like getting hits. Hits is a good thing. Uh, here comes Tintin. Two for two today. Both of them gone single, but that's okay. Because, uh, uh, frankly... Uh, if Tintin gets a hit, it's a good day. He's got a piece of that. That's gone a long way. It's out of here. And with Steve Murray on base as well, that has knocked in two more runs. Tintin Hollywood announces his arrival with a significant amount of authority. And Bulldozer Power take the lead now with three runs to nothing. It will be meaningless, though, if we have one of our traditional uh, defensive collapses. Here's Feetum. Really doesn't matter what he gets out of this. Uh, he's only the pitcher. He's not expected to hit. He does it anyway. Forces an error out of the opposing pitcher. Mind games there from the professor. Here comes failure. Uh, now, what's he going to do here? Uh, another good at bat from failure would be most welcome. Although, oh, is, uh, 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 that was a pitch out. Oh, uh, and that spooked. It has to be said, that spooked failure. Uh, and the defensive team as a whole. They, they threw to second, but Feetum had already made it there. That's two runners on bases. God, gracious me. What's happening here? Ronette is being subbed already. Gracious me. And uh, Cardoso Drummond is coming on in her place. Well, this is showing a, a complete lack of faith in the new pitcher, uh, as uh, they've been substituted already. And uh, this new guy doesn't seem to be able to find the plate at all. That's strike one. 
Hazmat desperate for a decent at bat. Uh, strike two now. Ball two. And there we go. Oh, that's another error. And Hazmat has done the unthinkable and actually got on base. And here comes Bam Bam. Now, she's uh, she's had two walks today and uh, and didn't do so well at her last at bat. If there were a time for Bam Bam to find her form, this would be it. Strike one, ball one. Ball two. No, it was a sound hit, but it wasn't enough with bases loaded. Bam Bam is uh, out of there, and that's a shame. Uh, anyway, the, the professor now comes in to uh, to now take on Marjorie Sinister, who, uh, as sinister as she may look, is uh, is well, just a bit of a Marjorie. Uh, so, like, here's the first pitch. Okay, well, that's uh, that's you dealt with. Tintin will just trot that one up to the base, and uh, that's you can go and sit down. Here comes Tyrone, who's the uh, who I, I would say is the bright spot on the team, but really not that bright. Um, you know, he's, he's one for two. And that one's not gone brilliantly, neither. Yeah, there you go. There's another one out. Good. Tagged out there. No, what? Wait. Hang on. Did that count? No, it didn't count. What's that treated as, then? Uh, apparently, that's a... I don't know. That was, the, that was a strike. Hard to say exactly what happened there. Anyway, let's just throw the ball and see what happens next. Oh, there you me. Apparently, that was still a strike. Okay, fine. We'll take it. And... Ah, there's a treat for some lucky fan. And here we go. That was a bit wide. Uh, strike two now, ball one. Nope, uh, still still clunking it around the joint. Uh, uh, Feetum's still got plenty of juice in the tank. Uh, for, for those of you who, who care about how much juice people have, he's got some. And where is it? It's in the tank. Uh, yeah, this one should do the trick. Well, it's done a trick. Bam Bam makes a dive. Lovely dive from Bam Bam. Can she get it there in time? No, she can't. Gets to first anyway. Uh, it's a shame. Well, okay. Well, uh, Tim, uh, Tyrone there using up quite a lot of uh, time. And his Roman Rocket. And, uh... Ooh, he uh, sold, a, sold a bandit on that one. And uh, here comes the second pitch. That was high and tight and inside and upside at the same time. Many sides were on that pitch. That one wasn't really legal, but he swung at it anyway. Feetum looks flipping delighted. And, uh, well, he, he should do. That was a delightful, delightful result there from his pitching efforts, uh, bringing up Jack Rasputin. Whoa, it's gone a very long way. Zoltan's there. He doesn't seem to be that fast. Oh, no, Zoltan with the no-look catch there. Beautiful work. Top of the seventh now. Uh, Bulldog power three. And uh, Bumson Hospital. Uh, zero. Okay. Right. Shamrock Bubble Jet. He's had a walk and two, uh, two terrible at-bats. Let's uh, see what he can do with this one. He's having a go for the first one. Two dives. Nothing happening. Gets on first. All right. I mean, I know we like to soak up the first pitch anyway, but, you know, that's okay. Here's Zoltan. Who's, uh, who's now over 300 for the season. No. That was a ball. That one was not a ball. Zoltan's nailed it, but it's gone just slightly a smidge to the wrong side of the foul line. Uh, ball two. Strike one. Ball two. Don't be hitting that kind of rubbish. What's the matter with you? Zoltan's out. Uh, but we do advance the runner to second. Uh, I mean, you know, that, we'll call that... It's like a consolation prize, is Cindy? She is very tall indeed. And it's going to get... Well, she's got a teammate out, but she made it in. I don't think anybody's going to take much solace from that. It's Steve Murray. Uh, and uh, that, that's a thing. Uh, no. Ball one. No. Ball two. Steve likes it. That one was straight up the middle. Uh, I don't think he's going to... Ah, nope. Oh, well. Ah, Steve's out. Side's out. Okay, everybody sit down. Uh, it's okay. It's all good. Here comes the professor up to pitch to Janice Castor. And uh, we'll, see, uh, we'll see if he's still got anything left in his arm. 
and because uh, he has had a, a solid day so far. But uh, oh, wait, and throw out. Good. Well, that's that's a good place to start. Here's the butcher. She's back again. And she's fearsome. And she might only be little, but uh, but she's dangerous. Not to be taken lightly. Bad pitch. Strike anyway. Good, good, good. Right, here's another one. Inside, only just. Come on, Feetum. Keep it tight. Keep it wired. Tintin. He's got it. Beautiful piece of fielding. Out number two. And uh, that's uh, that's gone very nicely indeed. It's franchise a bit oblique. Uh, who is uh, their last stand here in the seventh inning. Unless he hits it, of course, in which case someone else will take that mantle. Uh, strike one. Uh, let's see how they deal with something like that. I don't know. I dealt with it quite well, as it turns out. Uh, franchise gets on base. Ball thrown second. And uh, the last stand for the inning will, in fact, be Cardoso Drummond, the uh, relief pitcher. Uh, is he staying in? No, he's not. Ben Turncoat. Is coming on in his place. Uh, ben couldn't stick his backside out more if he tried. Oh, you missed that one, Ben. Would you like me to throw it a bit slower? Would that help you? All right, here you go. Try the forky. No, that didn't help either. Maybe I should throw it a little bit faster. Maybe, maybe that would help. Oh, well, okay, it didn't. I mean, to be honest. That was a terrible pitch, and uh, but he struck out. He just didn't even bother. Uh, Love Bozak is coming in as the uh, as the new pitcher, and based on the numeric stats there, Love Bozak is a load of rubbish. Uh, but we'll we'll see how we get on. Anyway, Tintin's up first. He's three for three today. Who are these? And and he's got a home run. This is the uh, this is Tintin Hollywood, the redemption. So I waste no time having a swing at it. He's going to get caught out, which is unfortunate. Uh, but he did uh, he did put some uh, put some meat behind the wood of the bat uh, to connect with the ball to make the progress with the team. What are you thinking, Feetum? You ruddy clown. Feetum's out. Uh, here comes failure. Having a very solid day. Uh, what's he going to do here? He's going he's to let that one go because it was too high by a long way. He's not letting that go, though. No, he's, he's hit it to Bumson. He's going to get him out. All right, all right. Well, you know, details, life, the science. Uh, here comes the man. Oh, it wasn't Bumson. That was, it was someone with big hair instead of this googly-eyed-looking fool. Right, okay. So, uh, feet him. Still on the mount. Although, he's, uh, he's starting to give up the occasional hit now. We'll, we'll see if uh, maybe he's ready for a reliever to come in. Here's Marjorie. If she gets a hit here, we'll uh, I think we'll we'll drop Feetum off. He's got plenty left uh, in his arm, but you know, you know, sometimes Yeah, they see that one's that one's gone as well. And so it's uh, substitution time. Nothing wrong with Feetum. Uh, he's had an extraordinary game so far, but with Tyrone, who is performing reasonably well. I think it's time we got him out of here. Let's uh, let's take him out. Now tulips up in the uh, up in the order. And I'll be honest with you, I'm, I don't really want to put her in. Who else have we got? Margot back. Oh no. Uh, ominous Bob. No. Fuegus. He's rattled. All right. Let's see if we can't get his confidence back. Uh, right. Fuegus is coming in as the reliever. Let's uh, let's see if he can dispatch Tyrone without too much effort. Ball one, always, always open with a ball, because uh, I don't know. There you go, that one's gone straight down the line. Good. Okay. Uh, no outs here at the uh, bottom of the eighth. Uh, two runners on base at the moment. Uh, things are pretty perilous here for Bulldozer Power. Uh, he's, he's got a, he's done some good work there. We got an out. Not the right person though. Could have thrown to third, uh, but went for the easy out instead. Well, okay. That is bad news, though. Oh, and Zoltan, with a tremendous error, uh, has given up the tying run. Zoltan there. Ran the wrong way. Gave up a triple. Oh, for God's sake. 
and uh, all of a sudden, the uh, the lead that Bulldozer Power have been clinging to for the entire game evaporates, uh, and uh, uh, this is leading to another high drama ending to this uh, to this matchup. But uh, this inning is not over yet. All right, it might be now. Oh no, it's not! It's not over now. Thought someone was running a second. They weren't. They were running home. Should have thrown there instead. It's, and uh, that that might be costly. Uh, to be honest, it already is costly. It may end up being very costly. Right, okay, finally. Okay, so giving up three runs there. I, and it was Fuegas gave up all of them. Oh, uh, to be honest, not entirely his fault. Uh, Zoltan has to shoulder much of the blame there. Uh, and uh, here we are. Final inning, unless it has to go to extra time. And, uh, and bingo is uh, is facing Love Bozak. Ball three there. And, uh, and bingo gets a walk. All right, well, this is a solid place to start off. Uh, Bam Bam's now up. 0 for 2 when she swings. Uh, two walks when she doesn't. That was a big sinker. Uh, ball one. Fell too low, but that's strike one, apparently. No! No, no, no! Oh, no! Well, I mean, Bam Bam gets in, but Bingo's out. Uh, that's uh, that's one out, one on base. And uh, and it's Shamrock now, up to face Bozak. Ball two. Ball three. No strikes as yet. That would have been a strike. Uh, which is why we swung at it. That's uh, runners now, first and second. This is uh, this is a good place to be in. Uh, we could really do. Uh, you know, it's, uh, the big liability from centre field is up now, and uh, desperately needs to uh, to do something, or he may find himself perma benched. This is not what we had hoped for. Double play retires the side. And that leaves Bulldozer Power requiring a defensive play here. Uh, and Zoltan's pulled his hamstring. That's what he says. Bench me, coach. Bench me is what he's saying. Ah, uh, that one's up over the fence. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Oh, dear. That's not a good pitch. That's uh, okay, though. Good. Right. One out. All right. Two to go. Backs against the wall for Bulldozer Power. Uh, they're in a corner. They're always dangerous when they're in a corner. Although not if this season's performance is anything to go by. They're not. No, they are. They're not really dangerous at any point at the moment. Strike one. That was a nice pitch. Fuegas there getting it, uh, getting it together. That one's gone into the crowd. And uh, let's throw the change up. Excellent work, Fuegas with the strikeout. Uh, that will do his confidence plenty of good. Um, is the pitcher who can't possibly be staying in. No, there we are. We're bringing on Tyrone Luna, uh, the second Tyrone of this team. Who doesn't look thrilled to be here, I'll be honest with you. He does look a little bit uh, alert. Uh, could be some uh, Colombian pharmaceuticals have found their way into the hospital. Uh, certainly in the batting facility. There we go, that'll do it. Side retired, we're going to extra inning. And uh, Ken uh, Th Thursday, 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 <laughs> whatever, uh, is coming into pitch. And uh, it'll be Cindy up first uh, to uh, to now see what she can do. She's done nothing so far today. Four at bats missed all of them. And this one doesn't look like it's going to be any better. No, Cindy's out. Oh, for pity's sake. Steve Morrie, only you can save us, Steve. We need a run here. No, that's not going to do it either. That chap with the big air just got you. No, that's... I don't know what we're doing swinging at these first pitches. So it comes down to Tintin. And, uh, I mean, I don't want to put any pressure on him, so I won't. Strike one. Ball one. All right. Tintin's eye is there. That's good. Tintin gets on base. Well, that's that's a positive move. 
Uh, unfortunately, that brings up Flinging Fuegas, who is not a good batter. So he's going to go and sit down then, isn't he? Yes, he is. We're going to substitute him. Yes, we are. Uh, Jemima Hurts. She does quite well when she comes in as a, as a pinch hitter. So, uh, well, hold on. I need a replacement for Zoltan, which is a center fielder. I got a hammock. Hammock will be fine. Right, okay. So, Jemima Hurts is coming in. The 27 foot tall Jemima Hurts uh, is coming in to see if she can't make something happen here. Ball two. Ball three. I mean, I would say that that was probably in Jemima's uh, strike zone. Anyway, Jemima reads the pitches accurately and gets a walk, and that brings up failure. If there were a time for him to recover his uh, or refind his first inning form, uh, this would be it. Strike one, ball one. Should not have swung at that one, and the side is retired. Uh, now, then, who have we got available? What's, what's the Conservative look like? Oh, you've got Sally Rhythm, who hasn't pitched all season. Sally Rhythm! She's coming in! Uh, okay, Sally Rhythm now. Uh, we'll be facing down Spock Bonson, who we have made quite a lot of fun of in the game so far today. Uh, but uh, he'll get the last laugh if he gets a hit out of this. Well, he hit the ball. But Bam Bam's chucked that at first, and he's out. So, uh, sit down, Bumson. Here's Sinister. At this point, I'm not going to criticise the stats of any of these batters. Zoltan's on that one. But it's not going to be enough as, uh, as she gets on to base. There. Tenth inning, incidentally. Bottom of the tenth. Here's Tyrone, who's having a good day. Uh, can, uh, can Sally sort Bumson? Uh, Joe, what? Throw. Get out. Come off it! No! Ah, oh, stolen base there. That's, uh, that's rubbish. That's Tyrone there. He's now on two strikes. And not a good pitch. But it'll do. Strike three. And that's two outs now. Roman Roquette has got a triple and a double today. He is a significant threat. Pitching needs to be on the money. Ball one. That was off the money. That's not a good pitch either. Bumson's got it. No, sorry, Hazmat. Hazmat's got it, and that's out. Uh, as we now go into the 11th inning. And we're looking at uh, Bingo Hazmat to try and break the deadlock. Otherwise, we'll be here for a while longer. Ball one. Ball two. That's not a ball. No, that's, that's going to be out. All right. Okay. Uh, Hazmat sits down. Here comes Bam Bam. Okay. Come on, Bam Bam. Just struck at rubbish there. Struck at rubbish again. She's, she's out again. Terrible day at the plate for Bam Bam Puckeye. And who just seemed to respond very poorly uh, when, uh, when given... Uh, when, when not walked, frankly. Uh, anyway, that was Shamrock who gets on base. So, uh, you know, there's something. But we're two outs already for the inning. And that leaves us flipping Zoltan, who's going to find himself substituted. Yeah. Get off my team. No. Uh, now, we've got Big Rod, but he's a baseman. So that's no good. We're, we're looking at Veronica Hammock. Yeah. Or Bernard Dunk. All right, well, Hammock has better stats all round, so Hammock's coming in. Now batting, number three. And, uh, and we'll be hoping that she can uh, she can get something done here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Left-handed batting. And uh, we'll see if that throws the pitcher off at all. Checked it, didn't wreck it. Three balls. Strike one. I think we'll wait for the full count. No, we won't. We'll walk. Thank you. Well, that's the second uh, substitute we've brought in who's, uh, who's, you know, scored a walk out of it. Cindy's up. Uh, zero for five. And they're making another pitching change. Uh, Frank Tedson coming in. And uh, Tedson looks like he might actually have some game. Ball one. Ball two. Cindy not being fooled here. 
That was a good hit, but it's not good enough. Out number three, Cindy's out while we had two people on base. And here we are again, it's Rasputin. He's the flipping second baseman who I keep thinking is Bunsen. Uh, but, you know, there it is. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. Oh, no. Well, there you go, Jack Rasputin finishing off Bulldozer Power with a home run. I mean, to be honest, this wasn't where we lost it. We lost it in that inning that we gave up three runs, uh, at least one of which was down to a, a, a poor piece of decision-making from the fielding unit. Not me, obviously, no, from the fielding unit. And uh, a, a, a heart stopper, uh, a, a bitter disappointment for Bulldozer Power, uh, who did not play well on the day. Uh, flashes of good play, but mostly no flashes of anything. Uh, Featon with nine strikeouts. I mean, that's, that's good, isn't it? Isn't that good? Yeah, see, look. Nine strikeouts gets him the second star of the day. Tintin, however, established himself as a worthy contender to remain on the team. I mean, that's, that's reasonable, I suppose. Oh, there's me in the global leaderboard. Uh, tied with uh, Achubar. Uh, Zach, however, can eat it. All right, let's catch up on the other results that we've got to play through today. And uh, it is the Pirates against the Ducks. The Ducks take the lead going into the final inning and come away with a win. Seven and nine as a placing F. Failure grad, I suspect, uh, but they win in that anyway. Here's the Raptors against the Ocelots, uh, and they're up several and win the game. Good. Colonel Skull against the Pirates, and it is the, uh, the Pirates who do the job. Here's the Sloths against the Kings. Kings doing quite well this season, and uh, they come away with the win, 10-2. to two. Here's the Jesters against the Nomads, and the Nomads win as well. Golds and Eagles against Failure Grad, and uh, despite a comeback from the Eagles, Failure Grad win it. Uh, Bumson, following on from their defeat of me, have absolutely trounced the Ocelots, 12-1. to one. Cheerio Inc., the last remaining undefeated team against the Ducks, pull out a nice 11-6 victory there. And uh, what does that tell us? Well, it tells me that I'm now four and a half games back and that I need to get my life in order. Right. Okay, that's what it tells me there. Uh, the Nomads now leading the Bombastic Division. Five games is what they have won. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Uh, the closest division we've got right now, I would say, is probably the Smoothing Division. Uh, with Duck Force and FC Failure Grad on four wins with the Megan's Pirates on three. Uh, tree Guns are tied uh, between the Jesters and the Kings, uh, who have three and three apiece. So it's, it's nice and tight over there. However, we are languishing three games back from even getting close to second or third place. And I've got to turn it around in the next game, which will be against Failurewood, who are also one and four. So if you want to see that, tune in next week and you'll see it. If you don't want to see it, I'd advise staying clear when it turns up in your uh, subscriber feed. I've been Colonel Failure. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Cheerio. Four losses in a row? Well, I mean, postseason at this point looks like, a, like it, well, it's like a not, not going to happen. That's what it looks like. Uh, but I could not be happier with the difficulty balance. Uh, frankly, the way that I'm playing at the moment, badly, uh, is uh, is leading itself towards some really quite exciting games. I can't believe I threw that one away quite as well as I did, but, you know, I had a, had a sinking suspicion that that was going to be the case when we didn't rack up any more runs. So, uh, yeah, it's good. Um, yeah, I, I like an exciting game, and this is what this is turning out to be, so that's, that's all jolly good right there. Anyway, if you've got a favourite player from any team, why not mention them in the comments? I mean, very few people not watch this anyway. So, uh, so you know, it would just be, just be quite nice and pleasing for you to be able to, to, you know, feel like you're getting involved in some fashion. So, why not? Look, it would... It, sling a comment with your favourite player in. Go on. Even if it's you. I know several of you have got players named after you, but if it's you, that's perfectly acceptable. And uh, if you've got a high point from their career so far, so much the better. Yes.